All right, so we have some new features. We even have some new toggles. You can see I have these two brand new toggles known as the Keep Screen On toggle and the Screen Curtain toggle with this latest update. We also have a brand new Adaptive Brightness Options. I'm going to show you guys how to use all this stuff. Let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about a powerful new update for millions of Samsung Galaxy smartphones that do bring five new features to the table. So let's dive in and see exactly what is going on. Now this update comes to a specific application. It is a Samsung application. That means it is made by Samsung for Samsung Galaxy smartphones and that is known as the Good Guardians application. Now the Good Guardians application has six powerful modules that have been in existence for a while you may or may not know this, but now we have a brand new module that is going to be under the family section known as the display assistant that adds powerful new features. So first and foremost, to get this Good Guardians suite, you can click the link down below. Once you click the link, you are going to be at my website and you can see here it is. You scroll down under download. You want to click this link. It'll take you to the Galaxy Store and you can install the Good Guardians on your smartphone. Not all smartphones support this, but millions do. So once you install it, you open it up, all right? And first you're gonna see the home screen and you can play with these if you want, but in this video we're gonna be talking about the Display Assistant. So let's click on it, okay? And you can see we have five new features right over here. Actually, there are six, so that's even better. So let's go over them one by one, and I do want to let you know, it appears that these features right now are only available on One UI 7.0, but they are going to be available widely very soon on 6.1, 6.0, and all that good stuff. You can still try to download the app and see if you have it available. If you do, great. In my case, I'm just using a Samsung One UI 7.0 device. All right. So the first feature is this one right here, that is the App Screen Timeout. So as you know, if you go to your Samsung settings, all right, and if you go over to Display, you have this Screen Timeout option right over here, which right now is set for five minutes, and that applies universally everywhere, okay? With this feature, the App Screen Timeout, I am able to create custom screen timeouts for any application. So if I'm doing a call, I can have that at 15 seconds. So what that is gonna do is that is gonna save me battery, okay? Again, if I tap on plus, I can go in here, let's see all the available options, okay? Let's say the calculator application. By the way, I do like how everything is nice and organized. You have the photography apps, You've got the productivity app, so it puts it all together in these categories. I'm just gonna use tools. I'm gonna go to calculator. So I'm gonna tap right over here. I'm gonna tap on add. And then it's gonna ask me to select a custom screen timeout for that particular application. Let's just say 15 seconds for this example. I'm gonna say done, okay? So now if I have the calculator application, even though my generic screen timeout is set to five minutes, which was right over here, this is my main settings, my calculator application is now set to 15 seconds. So when I launch the calculator application, all right, and if I just leave it like this and I walk away, it is going to time out in 15 seconds, thereby saving me a lot of battery and also keeping my phone cool. Look at that, it just went down. Even though I have full five minute timeout, the calculator just timed out at 15 seconds. So that is great. So you can individually customize all that. Now the other one that we have is keep screen on. So if I tap on this one, it says the screen will stay on for 30 minutes. What you would have to do is you would tap on this guy and tap on add this button, all right? Now that button gets added to your quick toggles, all right, and you get the keep screen on toggle, you can tap it. Now the screen is gonna stay on for 30 minutes for whatever reason you need that to be, all right? So you get this brand new toggle in the control panel. So we're gonna go back over here and then we have the brightness limit profile. Let's tap on it and you can see this is the standard. This is what you have by default. 
it says brightness is limited at high temperatures. So if the phone is too hot already on a sunny day, it's going to limit the maximum peak brightness so the phone doesn't overheat and cause problems like sluggishness, okay? But now you can actually go to the light mode, so brightness can be kept up even at high temperatures. Let's just say you're stuck in a desert and you need like brightness just being up. You can do that with this option, but that is going to cause the device to cool down a little bit slower. Okay, so you have an option. It's going to be safe, but it's still something you can tweak on a neat basis based on your location. Again, if you're in a colder area, in a colder climate, it's not going to matter. But maybe if you're in a hot area, you can use this option if you simultaneously need constant high brightness. And then we have the adaptive brightness option. Look at this one. So adaptive brightness, as you know, changes the brightness of the phone's display automatically. Now here, as it transitions from lower brightness to higher brightness or higher brightness to lower brightness, the speed of that change is can be 2x, 4x, or 1x, okay? So by default, it is at 2, but you can bring it to 1 to make it a little bit more slower. Again, it's something you want to play with and find out what setting you like. Now, when I go back over here, we also have the standard refresh rate app. So this one, again, amazing little feature. If there's applications that do not require 120 hertz, so again, if I go to my main settings, and if I go to my display, and if I go over to motion smoothness, right now it is 120, okay? So what if there are certain apps that just don't need 120? All you do is, and you just need 60, all you do is tap on plus, okay? And let's just say, again, let's just say cal calculator. Calculator, I'm gonna tap, I'm gonna tap and add. Now again, when I launch the calculator application, calculator, it is now gonna run at 60 hertz, which by the way, is saving me battery. So right now, I'm at 120, 120, 120, 120, okay? But the moment I go into the calculator application, boom, by default, it is 60 because that's what I set it up to be right over here, okay? Go back, and then we have the final option known as the screen curtain. So let's say you have an application that is just running and running and running, but you still want to conserve battery. You can use the screen curtain. Tap on this guy. You do want to add a quick setting button. Tap over here. Now we have a screen curtain added, so we have that toggle, and basically, let's say that I was using an application that was on, it had to remain on, but I didn't actually need a display, but I didn't actually need to see it. I can tap on the curtain, and I'm going to get this curtain, okay? There's now a curtain on the screen. Whatever was happening in the background is still happening, but with a curtain that is saving me battery, okay? So that is fantastic. Looks like it is restarting. The reason it just restarted was because it is this app is in beta. And I'm running One UI 7.0, which is also in beta. So probably there was a crash here. You can see it says screen curtain mode puts the screen in dozing state. Just a screen, not what's happening underneath in the background, just the screen dozes out, alrighty? But it's not gonna work during calls, playing games, or YouTube and YouTube music. For that, you're gonna need YouTube Premium. Tons of new features for millions of phones. Right now, it is only on One UI 7.0, but it is gonna to spread to all other older devices as well. All right, guys, any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below. Let me know for now. Have a fantastic day.